Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to today's Watching Chickies. Now on part two of day 41. And uh, we got our technical issue thrown at us early for today. But you know, these things happen, and they happen quite often on Reddit. So I'm always ready to start a part two when necessary. And hopefully the rest of the day is just going to be smooth sailing. And here on my lap, we have our little fuzziest chicken, our little Stormy. He's having a lovely time with Dad, just giving her a nice little cuddle. And Memento Mori, lovely to see you. And yes, a super zoom in on our little Stormy. And her lovely new little hairstyle. And her gorgeous little curved beak with that little white point on the end. Such, such a beautiful little gray silky chick. There you go. And then up top there, we have him. We have little Kagome, our Onagadori, and we have Braveheart, our Ayam Samani, just kind of taking a nap up on the top of the chair. And all of them are just a little bit sleepy today. But you know what? That's all right. If they're having fun, I'm having fun. There you go. You know, yesterday after the stream, I just kind of hanged out with them a bit and had all three just sitting on me and just falling asleep for a while. And with both hands free, I was able just to really give them the cuddles that they all wanted. And that was a nice moment. And thank you, your moms. Well, I do like just chilling with these little chickens for a while. And these streams are... Sometimes the best part of my day. Because it's hard to feel mad, sad, or even a little bad when you're just watching chickies kind of just chill out and be themselves. They're just living their best lives here on their last few days when they're living inside with mom and dad as we're getting ready to transition them to the coop at this point. Oh, Memento Mori, I'm glad these streams really are having a nice effect on your life. Oh, dear. It seems our little Stormy is really relaxing here on my leg. And such a lovely little girl. And so are these guys over here. Oh, my. Oh, I'm sorry. I stopped petting you and you stood all the way up. <gasps> Such a big yawn. You're like a miniature ostrich, you are. Oh, dear. Well, Keaton, um, this guy right here, well, they're all chickens, but this one is a silky chicken. And she is covered with a nice downy soft feather that um is going to be staying on her for the rest of her life. She's not really going to develop normal sort of chicken feathers, but you know, that's all right. And you're really close to the edge there, Stormy. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't want you to fall. I don't want you to fall. Thank you, Chair. Stay say this. Well, wants to just say hello to you, Stormy, and to all the rest of the other chicks. And uh, right here at the top of the chair, in sort of uh, brown and gold, we have our Onagadori, named Kagome. And the Onagadori is an endangered Japanese chicken that is well known for its roosters that have tail feathers that grow their entire lives. And then right next to her, in black, we have our lovely Braveheart, who is an Ayam Samani. And all of them 
make a lovely little flock. Oh, I am trash, 066. Wow, these guys don't work for the government. They don't have any jobs whatsoever. Well, I guess they kind of have one, which is growing up nice, safe, and sound. There you go. Lovely little chickens. Yeah? A few gentle peeps. What's that, Stormy? So much preening's going on over there. Oh, dear. And Stormy, you've gotten so much bigger over the past 41 days. And for those of you who might not know, we uh, stream every single day. So uh, we've kind of done an almost impromptu documentary on these little chickens' lives. Because every single one of their 41 days has been streamed live here on Reddit. There we go. And for those of you who are interested in seeing what they were uh, looking like and acting like, um, on earlier days, we have a YouTube channel called Watching Chickies, in which we have uploaded all of these older streams. And Rocks Roads, yes. Before I got chickens, I never thought about how just lovely they could be and how warm and comforting they really were. And they can really bond with a person. Though I suppose that makes a lot of sense, considering that they can imprint on people. And hello there, Razor Dog 1500 And uh, no need for anyone to worry. These chickens are members of our family and friends for life. So they are going to be living long, happy, and healthy lives, if I have anything to say about it. And Speedy24 Gaming. Well, I don't... I'm not actually playing a song right now. So you might have a song playing on a different tab or something right now. Or maybe even an ad playing. At the moment, um, it's just really me talking with the occasional little chirping of some of the chickies. And yes, some people call me Bob Ross of, of chickens, and I've been called Burb Ross. Either is fine for me. And hello there. Um, Mutes Jammer in Istanbul. Oh, and Spartan Coyote123, thank you for the Ally Award. It is most appreciated. Kijer uh, Stee say this. Um, I played a couple of little bits of music to the chickens before, but they don't really seem to react too much. So I'm not sure if it's just I haven't found the right sound, or they're not really all that interested in the music. What do you say, Stormy? Are you interested in the music? Oh dear. And for all of you... Oh, and a little chicken sneeze. Bless you there, Stormy. And for all of you who are interested in what chicken breeds these are, right here we have our little uh, Stormy, who is a silky chicken. And over there, um, in brown and gold, we have our Onagadori, named Kagome. And in black, we have our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart. And the tissues are in the bin are just because um, Braveheart and Kagome have started to um, perch on the edge of the brooder, which sometimes results in them pooping on the floor. And then I need to use some tissues and stuff to clean everything up. There we go. There we go. Oh, and thank you, um, Cezio Bomb. Bon. Yes, I do think my chickens are quite adorable. And I apologize if I miss some of your comments or I'm a bit slow. I have to look down at my computer to see my comments because uh, our pan does have 
a few glitches that pop up for when I'm doing this on my phone. And unfortunately, I can't fix it in midstream. Lovely. Oh, and a uh, salty. Well, I am actually maybe uh, like a little birthday present. I might try to get some of those little arms for them because I do think those look quite cute. And that might be kind of fun seeing them running around with arms. And uh, Airyberry17, um, we have a big fence for our yard. Um, but I'm also working on um, this week making a bit of a chicken run with a lot more uh, wiring for their coop this week. So that's kind of a little project I'm, I'm doing right now. Oh, and Hector, I hope your chickens are doing so lovely. I know mine are. And Sophia, yes, I know for many years I kind of dreamed of owning chickens, and you know what? This year is the year I made it happen. So your dreams don't always have to stay dreams forever. Sometimes they could culminate in three lovely chickens coming into your life. And Kiwi, well, this one right here is our silky chicken. And then up there, we have our Onagadori and our Ayam Samani, who are taking a little nap. And all of them are a little bit sleepy. Oh, and Crystal, um, Crystal Lisa. Yeah, um, I think, says, I think Stormy needs a little white scarf like pilots used to wear. And I know uh, my partner, Lauren, is really into knitting and crafts. So I know she already has a variety of little um, things that she's planning on knitting for them. But that would be another lovely thing. I think she's planning on knitting them all their own little sweaters. That'll be a fun thing, won't it, Stormy? Your own little sweater with little buttons to put on. And such a sleepy little chicky. But so happy with some little pets. And uh, little Stormy here is kind of like our uh, Kagome, in that she can make a little bit of a fuss when we first pick her up. You know, but once she's sat down and she's getting a few pets, she is just the happiest little chicken in the world. And today they are quite quiet. But yesterday they did get in to a bit of mischief, because in the middle of the day... I needed to leave and go pick up Lauren from the airport. And when I returned, oh my, I found such a mess in the living room. And it seems from the uh, little feathers that were left behind and the various little droppings on the floor that both um, Kagome and Braveheart had done their best to look for me around in the room. I even ended up pooping on our little weight chart table there. But the, it was the funniest thing. When I came in and looked into the brooder, they were all inside the brooder, and they all kind of looked up at me like, oh, what? What? We didn't do anything. See? We're all here in the brooder. Oh, my. It was so funny, I couldn't even really be that annoyed at them. I just cleaned everything up and just played with them for a while. And Lauren's trip was all right. It was a little bit stressful, but you know, she needed to do it for work. There you go. There you go, Stormy. Yes, Memento Mori, Stormy didn't get into the hijinks because Stormy cannot get out of the brooder. So I imagine while they were doing the hijinks out here on the floor, Stormy was probably just shouting at them, Hey! Hey, come back! Come back inside here! You're not supposed to be out there! You're not supposed to be out there at all! And um, for the pecking order, I think we... 
pretty much have um, Braveheart and Kagome kind of at top, and our little Stormy is the glue that keeps them together. There we go. Lovely little birds. Oh my. Now, whenever the other two get out of the brooder, Stormy is always putting up such a fuss. And I think that's because she feels a little bit left out. Because she really can't just roam like they can. <gasps> Are you guys getting ready to come out? Ooh, you want to come over here to Dad? Come here, Braveheart. Come here. Come to Dad. Yes, come to Dad. Uh-huh. Come to Dad. That's right. Come to Dad. And then a few more steps and you'll make it. Come here. Come here. Yes. Come here. I know you're looking at me. I can see you. Oh, dear. Oh, well, thank you, Chris. That is a lovely compliment. And you as well, uh, Tangled Speck. Oh, come here, Braveheart. Come here. Come to Dad. Come on. Come on. You can do it. All right, I'll come give you cuddle time. There we go. Look, there's little Stormy back. Do you want to say hi to Stormy? Are you just still waking up now, Braveheart? Is this your sleepy face? Oh, my. <gasps> Kagome? What big legs you've grown. Another little yawn. Yes, before I got chickens, I didn't realize that they could yawn and sneeze so much the same as people. Oh dear. Hello there, Kagome. Hello. Ah, another stretch. And look at all of those lovely pinhead feathers coming in right there. Ah, and a lovely stretch of the wings from both of you. You're really waking up. And come here, Braveheart. Come here. There you go. There's my lovely boy. Ooh. And using my fingers as a perch there. <gasps> Such a lovely Ayam Samani chicken. Are you trying to go back to my shoulder? Oh dear. You are such a shoulder chicken. There you go. There you go. <gasps> you found a nice place there. <gasps> and hello there. Hello there, Kagome. She gets a little bit jealous when I give Braveheart some attention. Are you going to come fly over? Oh, she's getting a little agitated because I'm giving Braveheart all of the attention now. Look at your lovely comb there, Braveheart. And your coloration, well, that would put a raven to shame. Yes, it would. Such a handsome boy. You are. Want to go down? You go to my leg. Oh, you like my arm? You know, it makes it a bit harder to get you pets. Oh, you're just going to settle down there? All right. You can feel nice and comfy. But I won't really be able to pet you. <gasps> Hello there, Kagome. Would you like to come over to Dad? You can always fly on over. You have in the past. And Kamata-kun, yes, they have grown so much the past few days. Come here, Kagome, come here. It's all right, you're right on the edge anyway. Come here, you can do it. Are you going to do your usual trick of going onto the edge of the garbage can? Oh, lovely. Yes, and all of these guys are 41 days old. And they are just doing so well. Soon you guys will be six weeks old now. Oh my. You've all grown so nicely. And hello there, Kagome. Kagome! Kagome! Look at the arm. I can hear you. I can hear you talk to me. Come here. Oh, you're fine just watching? Such a soon today. Such a soon today. And there you go, Braveheart. A few cuddles from Dad, as you're giving Kagome 
a little bit of a look. You keeping an eye on her? Making sure she's behaving herself? You know, the only times I really see Braveheart getting out of the coop is when he's trying to keep an eye on Kagome. Otherwise, he's usually pretty content to just stay right there in our brooder. Oh, come here, my moody Kagome. Dad always has a space for you. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, no, no. She wants to play a game. It's called Chicken Chaser. And I'm not going to play it right now. Lovely. And we have about 25 minutes left now. Ooh, you going onto your stomach. Oh, dear. Oh, Kagome, just come over here. You're making such a fuss. Such a fuss. And little Stormy's just watching you. Like, what the heck are you doing, Kagome? Where is all of this energy coming from? There you go. And all of these guys are lovely little chickens. The brown and gold one is named Kagome. And she's an onagadori, which is an endangered Japanese breed of chicken. And then we have our little silky over here named Stormy. And our lovely boy here is our Ayam Samani chicken named Braveheart. And Braveheart is kind of looking like a raven these days. And he does love just kind of sitting on my shoulder a lot of the times. There we go. So much scratching on the blanket. What do you expect to find there, Kagome? What do you expect to find? And what are you doing? What are you doing, Braveheart? <gasps> A few little scratches to your head. Yeah? Just trying to give me a look? Oh, dear. I'll give you a few little scratches. There you go. Such a well-behaved bird and a little yawn. Oh, and Max Yask, thank you for the wholesome award. It is much appreciated. Yes, and Kagome does like looking around. And in a minute or so, I think we're going to be do doing today's weigh-in. Because one of the things that we do to make sure our chickens are developing nice and well is making sure that they don't suddenly end up losing weight while they're still growing. Because that could be a big indicator that something is happening to your chickens. But so far, these guys have grown quite well. And they are members of our family and friends for life. So we want to make sure that they stay nice and healthy for as long as possible. There you go. Yes, you're such a good bird, Braveheart. You are. All right. Um, well, yesterday, uh, Braveheart was 278 grams. Kagome was 254 grams. And Stormy was 186. Ooh, another yawn. You're such a sleepy bird. You keep trying to take naps today. And you know, your beak is just the same as our little Stormy's with that little white tip out on the end. Oh, and kamata -kun, your bearded dragon, says hello. Aw. That makes me remember my old bearded dragon named Ozzy. There you go. There you go. And, um, Jamooks. Yes, that is actually poop on the paper. When the chickens did their little breakout yesterday, when I went to the uh, airport, it appears they um, showed their opinion about my weigh-ins on the paper itself. A little protest movement, as it were. 
Oh, and I'm sorry for the dad joke there. I apologize. There you go. There you go. And all of you guys look like you're up, so guess what? It is time for your daily weigh-in. There you go. All right, Braveheart. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's weigh-in time. Oop. I know. I know. Even you don't like this. I know. It's okay. Oh, not on the computer. You're too big. You're too big. There you go. Yes. Both feet right there. You're doing so well. So well. So 291 grams. Lovely, my brave heart. Lovely. And you know what? We're going to put you back into the brooder for a minute. And I'm going to put the rest of you back in there soon. So 291 grams for Braveheart. That is quite the increase. Aha. Hello there, Kagome. Hello. Well, it's your turn. I know. I got you. No, 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 no. I... Ah, darn. Come here. I know you don't like it. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh. That was su surprisingly well behaved for you. 265 grams. Oh, that is lovely, my little Kagome. That is lovely. And there you go. So 265 grams for Kagome. Oh my, that is a big increase from yesterday, which was 254, so 11 grams. And Stormy, it's your turn. Oh dear, oh dear, Dad's weighing me again on the internet. How dare, how dare, how dare. I know, I hear you protest. I hear you protest. There you go, there you go. 189 grams. All right, that's three grams. You know what? That's something there, Stormy. That's something. Aw, you can do your little flapping. And all the chicken crew is back together. Listen to our little peep, peep squad. Lots of little peeps. So 189 grams. It's only 3 grams, but you know what? It's an increase, and that is good. Lovely. And you know, um, I believe that we did a little bit of yogurt yesterday, so that you can have too much of a good thing. But I will throw them a little bit more feed. There you go. Here's the fresh stuff. There you go. There you go. And they especially like it when I dump it in right in front of them. And there they go. Lots of happy little cheeks. And for those of you just tuning in who might have missed before, welcome to Watching Chickies, the daily live stream here on Reddit, in which we watch the lives and the development of these three young chickens, who are now into day 41 of their lives. In black, we have our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart. In gold and brown, we have our Onagadori, named Kagome. And in gray, we have our Silky, named Stormy. And all of these guys are chickens, different breeds, but they are all one happy little flock that have been together their entire lives. And very soon, they're going to be moving outside to their uh, coop. And these are just kind of the last days of them being inside this brooder. And uh, yeah, we've been, we've been broadcasting every single day of their lives. So if you're interested in watching um, them grow and develop, you can always feel free to try to search through our videos here. Or we've col collected them all on YouTube on our channel called Watching Chickies. 
There is a link to it on our profile page. And there is also a link to our Instagram and our Patreon. And I'd like to use this opportunity to thank our Patreon members, uh, Zanfe, Terror Birdie, Kate, and the Foley family. All of you guys are great, and you help me bring this content to everyone here on Reddit every single day. And, you know, if you do like these uh, streams, you can always feel free to subscribe to me here on Reddit and follow, well, you could follow me on Reddit and subscribe on YouTube if you want. And if this brings you, you know, a lot of joy, hey, you could feel free to take a look at the Patreon and the different things we offer there. And in the meantime, you could listen to the happy little cheeps of these little chickens as they go about their business. And they have gotten quite talkative right now. lovely. And I apologize if it takes me a moment to uh, reply to you. Um, there are some technical issues here on RPAM that have stopped all of my comments from flowing on my phone, but if I look to the right, I could see your comments on my laptop that I opened. And soon they will be moving out of this brooder in a few days and moving outside, which will be lovely for them. Yes, and you'll all get some more space. You'll be moving out of your parents' place, but, you know, you'll be really close by. Oh, thank you, loopy boy. 55, that's a lovely compliment. And Memento Mori. Yes, I'm going to feel pretty sad when I can't hear the chickies inside my own house anymore. But you know, that's more of an excuse to go outside every day. And, um, Mayo um, asks, um, how often do you give them baths? So they give themselves little sand baths all the time by kind of going into the sand, ruffling up their feathers, and doing lots of preening. Um, I've only had to give Stormy and Braveheart a, a single bath so far, and that was only because Kagome had pooped on both of them, and they weren't able to get their feathers clean. And then for that, um, for both of them, we just um, used a little bit of a nice gentle soap and gave them a little um, warm soak and then dried them off. And for Stormy, we had to even use a hair dryer afterwards because of how different her feathers are. But you know, both of them handled it so well. They didn't put up a fuss, and Stormy even seemed to enjoy the blow dryer. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Ooh. I think this is a Stormy feather. Is it? Stormy, is this one of yours? Oh, I think it might be. Is it? Mm. Yes. Interesting, interesting. There we go. And you know, um, I think uh, Kagome just pooped on the others because she has this propensity for perching right on top of the brooder. And sometimes she turns her butt this way, and sometimes she turns her butt this way. So it either goes onto the floor, or it might go on to an unsuspecting bird below. Oh, and so much chatter from you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and a little bit of water there for Braveheart. Peek in, then head back. Little, little sips. Oh, and all of these lovely new feathers on your chair. Oh, oh my. Oh, my Kagome, you're getting too close. Oh, so much pecking. And Braveheart, too. Peck, peck, peck. Oh, my. Extreme close-ups from the birdies. And I think you guys can see right there, because we're close enough to Kagome, that she actually has brown eyes. Do you see that? 
her lovely little brown eyes. Unlike uh, Braveheart and our little Stormy, who both have black eyes. Oh, come here. There we go. And that's one trick I've taught Kagome of how to fly right into my arm. There you go. There you go. Ooh. Yeah? Lovely giving us a show now, Kagome. Yeah? Little chats? Here, come down here. I'll give you a cuddle. I'll give you a cuddle. Oh, dear. A little chats with the others who can't see you. Oh, and this is actually my living room and not my bedroom. I have a lot of nerdy stuff in here. A little book nook and stuff. Oh, dear. And she is really chatting with the other birds. There you go. And all of your lovely new feathers on top of your head are quite striking there, Kagome. You are starting to look very regal. And maybe I should just grab some of the other birds. Ooh. Hello there, Stormy. Hello. There we go. A little flip-flap. And there's Kagome. Just perched right on ooh, the edge. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I keep turning the chair. Where will I go? Oh, and lots of little chatter. There you go. There you go. So much talk from Kagome today. You are a chatty little girl. Oh, and it looks like Braveheart is going to join us. Oh, come here. You don't need to feel left out, Braveheart. There you go. And Braveheart is always so lovely. You just come right to us. You don't need me to catch you. And now I have all three chickens on my lap. A happy little flock. There we go. <gasps> oh dear, Kagome was a rebel. Oh my, that was quite the display there, Kagome. You ruffled up all your feathers and made such a noise. Were you inviting Braveheart over to play? Well, I'm afraid Braveheart looks very content where he is. Such an angsty little chicken. But that's all right, Kagome. I love who you are. And hello there, little Stormy. What are you trying to look at over there? Yeah? Oh, and Braveheart, you just come over for more and more pets. And I do love all of these little chickens, even though that they've grown so big. I think they just look more and more striking as the days go on. And they all just come into their own personalities and themselves. Even Kagome there, who likes to play a little bit hard to get. You know, I don't think it'll be too long before she tries to fly back to us, as we see from that little step forward. Kagome, you could come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I see you see me. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, a little bit of preening. Well, you can have fun there by yourself. There you go. Oh, dear. Oh, and uh, Chris, sorry, I just stared down right now. Um, our YouTube channel is called Watching Chickies. There's a link to it in my profile page. 
Oh, and Kagome, come over here. You don't need to go by the trash can. Dad can always lend you a hand. Oh, hard to get, hard to get. Why can't she be like you, Braveheart? You are such a good boy. You really are. Such a lovely little chicken. Oh, and a uh, Frosty Dog 11. Um, what do they feel like? Are they fluffy? Well, um, in the beginning, all of them were quite fluffy. But like now, like Braveheart, um, he, there's still like a measure of fluffiness, but he does have real adult feathers now. So it's not quite as soft as when he was younger. Uh, then we have our little Stormy here. And because she's a silky, all of her feathers have this sort of downy, soft quality and will remain like this for her entire life. So she is super soft, and her tail even more so. Little fuzzball. There you go. There you go. Oh, and our Kagome is trying to figure out how to get over to us without me giving her any sort of help. Let's see. Will you accept it this time, Kagome? Oh? No, no, no. Well, maybe... No. Such an independent chicken. Such an independent chicken. No, oh, lovely. And though we don't have any sponsors for these uh, streams, well, I guess the closest thing we have are our Patreons. Xanthe, Terra Birdie, Kate, and the Foley family. But you know, they haven't asked me to really advertise anything, so I think that's all right. <gasps> yes, Kagome, are you finally coming over? Come here. Oh, come here. Come on. Come on. There we go. All three chickens together again. Even though our little Braveheart looks a little bit nonplussed that uh, Kagome came over. Oh dear, you even have to sit on the arm instead of Dad's lap. You are such an independent little chicken. Oh, with your favorite little spot there. Yeah? You have to stay vigilant? Oh, my. Well, you do have all of these lovely new adult feathers. Yes, you are a regal, little, endangered breed. Our beautiful little Onagadori. There you go. There you go. Everything is all right. And everything is okay. See, you don't need to play hard to get. You can have a fun time with all of us here. Your happy little flock. Oh dear. Well, someone just tried to put their chickens to bed. And got one, but the other one went straight into your neighbor's hedge. Oh dear, I hope you caught it. Oh, and we hear some happy little cheeps coming out of Kagome there. Are you on cloud nine right now? Oh my. You know, Kagome, with all of this flying that you're doing lately... I'm afraid we might have to do a few little clips to your wings. I'm afraid that you might try to fly over all of the fences. And that might be quite awkward to get you back. And uh, shrimp. Well, all of these, um, yeah, all of these chickens are not damp. They are completely dry. They're 41 days old. And, uh, yeah, they haven't grown all of their adult feathers in, as we can see here. The pinhead feathers are coming in on Kagome's head. But generally speaking, she is doing 
marvelously. Oh, and someone asked, who's George? Well, that's George. Hello, George. And sometimes the chickens like looking at the suit of armor. There you go. There you go. Oh, and TJ, uh, you say this. Thank you for the gold award. It is much appreciated. And we get a few more minutes for the uh, stream today, I believe. Well, that's lovely. And for all of you viewers just tuning in, thank you for watching uh, watching Chickies, the daily live stream in which we watch the lives and the, the development of these three young chickens. Ah, oh, Braveheart, I saw you napping there with your head right underneath your wing. We caught you. We caught you. And right here we have Kagome, our Onagadori, which is an endangered Japanese breed that is well known for having tail feathers for the roosters that can grow out their entire lives and end up being 18 to 20 feet in length. We have our little Silky named Stormy, who is a little fuzzball and will be for all of her life. And then we have our nice rugged Ayam Samani here named Braveheart our biggest little chicken, but they are all 41 days old. And I don't um, have a favor amongst chickens. I like them all for different reasons. Oh my, that sounded like ripping paper there while you were doing your preening there, Braveheart. And you know, um, I play with them on the blanket a bit. Um, I have been trying to train uh, Kagome and Braveheart to sort of jump to my arm uh, to do their little flights. And, you know, I even tried my hand at one point to try to potty train them, but that didn't go too well. That's a pretty hard thing to do for a chicken. But, you know, so far it has all been quite lovely with them. Oh. Braveheart's just trying to cuddle up to our little Stormy, but I'm getting a little worried that Stormy might fall down as a result, because Braveheart doesn't know how big he really is at this point. You don't, my son. You think you're still a tiny little chick. Oh, dear. There we go, and now I can actually see how much time that we have left, which is about eight and a half minutes. So, for those of you who are enjoying this content, feel free to check out our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. There's a link in the profile page where we re-upload these streams. Um, I've also uploaded my first bit of narration, and hopefully I'll get up another episode this week. There we go. There we go. And we also air every single day here on uh, Reddit at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that could be a fun time. I know it's definitely nice and calming and relaxing for me. <gasps> Hello, Braveheart. Such a handsome young boy. And look at that little comb. You're our fierce little Klingon warrior you are. Yes, and so itchy with all of these feathers. Little scratches, little scratches. Dad can help, Dad can help. There you go. Oh, it seems Stormy has a few itches too. There you go. There you go. Oh, and Luna17134. Well, the way uh, the weigh-in was today, and, um... We got Braveheart going from 278 grams to 291, big jump for him. And we got Kagome going from 254 to 265. And then Little Stormy got from 186 to 189. So not the biggest increase for our Little Stormy, but you know, still an increase and pretty good. Pretty good indeed. 
Yes. And you know, I still have some leftover strawberries and blueberries. So I might be giving some of those treats to these guys tomorrow. So, um, once they're fully grown, um, they'll only really get sort of itchy, like super itchy like this, um, you know, when they're growing in new feathers. Which will be, I think for chickens, it's like every six months or so, new feathers are coming in. So I think this is really just the itchiest part of their life. There you go. And you see he's actually pulling out all of these little chunks as he's cleaning himself, which are really kind of messing up my uh, pants, but, you know, that's fine. I can wash pants just fine. He got dandruff, son. Oh, my. Bird druff, I guess. Oh, and Stormy just watching on. Look at your little mohawk that you have. So punk rock of you. There you go. There you go. Yeah? Are you ready for a concert? You're our little metal bird now. Lovely. Oh, yeah, we need to get head and shoulders for burbs. I wonder if they have that. Head and shoulders for little birds. Yeah, little peeps? There you go. Extreme close-up in on the cuteness of Braveheart and Stormy, both together, side by side. Okagome just kind of preens over there on that side of the chair. Close by, but wanting her own little space. And there you go, guys. You've had a nice day and a nice long stream. We got a little bit over an hour with everybody. And we got a nice chunk of quality time together. I call that a good day. Yes. There you go. There you go, Braveheart. And we can see how much Braveheart's tail feathers have grown lately. As you can see, they kind of go pretty much almost the entire length of my fingers at this point out. Quite the rapid growth there. You know, when Lauren came back after just being gone for a few days, she was astonished to see how much these guys had grown. You can't grow that much while she's gone. And I Stole a Giraffe asks, when will they produce eggs? Well, they should be able to produce eggs around the six-month mark. So now they are about um, a month and a half old. So um, that is going to be in about uh, four and a half months. Sometimes it's a little bit sooner. Sometimes it's a little bit later. But, you know... That should be nice. And they should be coming from our little Stormy and from our Kagome. Hello, Kagome. Are you ready to have to lay some eggs? I could only imagine you getting even more broody. Oh my. And such a lovely close up there. Oh, your lovely feathers as you just puff all of them out for the perfect preen. And Kagome is always so meticulous about cleaning herself up. You are our cleanliest little bird. You are. Oh my. You could even scratch your own neck with your own beak. That's a marvelous little trick. 
I don't think I could nuzzle my own neck with my nose. Oh dear, such flexibility. Yeah? Oh, just keep petting me, Dad. None of the jokes. None of the jokes. Lovely. And yes, Kagome is one of our prettiest little chickens. Such nice patter uh, patterns to her feathers. That lovely new sort of golden color that's coming in. She is very st striking. I guess she's really starting to distinguish herself as an Onagadori now. Each day, you are coming more and more into your own. And uh, Mayo, yes, they do all preen themselves. Um, I do occasionally see them preening the other chickens as they go about, especially when they do their little sand baths. They like to pick out all the little bits of sand that get amidst um, each other's feathers. And none of these guys are going to be chicken nuggets in the future. No, no. They are all lovely members of our family and friends for life. I want them to live long, happy, and healthy lives. And look at our little Kagome's brown eyes. There you go. There you go, Kagome. I was so weirded out the first time I looked into your eyes and I realized they were brown. Yeah, but they are so lovely. Oh, it's so nice when you talk to me like that. Love you too, Kagome. I hope that all of you today have had a nice time watching our little peep squad as they go about their day. Uh, we will be back tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we'll be on the air for at least 45 minutes, or more, depending on if we get some uh, little awards granted to us that grant us a little bit more time. There we go. And if you want to follow the journey of these little birds, you can always feel free to go on to our YouTube channel called Watching Chickies, which we've re-uploaded on pretty much all of these streams. And there's a link to it on my, our profile page, and there's a link to our Patreon. And thank you to our lovely Patreons, Xanthe, Tara Birdie, Kate, and the Foley family. You guys are truly awesome. And you've helped us come to all of you guys here on Reddit and to YouTube each and every day. All of you guys out there, you just have a brilliant day. And 